What's up YouTube, Ben Bond here and welcome to another vlog. I want to share with you two things that you need to master if you really want to be a better photographer. If you spend time and you master these two things, photography gear wouldn't really matter to you. Because you know like on social media people are always talking about does gear matter and uh, do you have to buy expensive lenses and all of that. If you spend the time and you master these two things it wouldn't matter whether it's full frame or or crop sensor you would produce amazing photos regardless and over the years these two things are what like i would say set me apart from other photographers because i've spent the time perfecting and practicing these two things the first thing on the list is lighting photography is literally drawing with lights and so if you want to be a great photographer you must be able to know how to control light, how to use light, how to direct light. You simply need to understand how light works. I'm not saying you should be a scientist, but I'm saying that you have to pay attention to lighting. You have to see light and the light must see you. <laughs> As a photographer, I decided on the type of lighting technique I want to use for my portrait. At the same time, spent so much time and years perfecting it. So lighting is so important, it's more important than camera body. That's why the first thing I ever bought, the first photography gear I ever, I ever bought was um, speed lights. And I practiced with these speed lights over and over again and understanding how they work. And so if it's natural light that you like to use for your work you need to know how you use the sun as the main light or how you use the sun as a rim light and you use a board to fill in as i said if you spend the time and you really master this too you wouldn't really need a lot of gear when you're taking photos because the issue with most people is that they don't understand how lights work so they think they will need like a number of lights to take a portrait a photo that somebody will use three lights to achieve I would just need one light and a feeling and this is simply because I understand how light works and I've spent the time perfecting this type of lighting that I use for my portrait so it doesn't matter if I'm using 5d mark 4 if I'm using a medium format if I'm using a Sony whatever it's just lighting and I pay attention to that I don't take it for granted at all photography gear comes and goes but light is constant without light you can't see without light your gear can't see and the only way to master lighting is by just practicing over and over and over again find a lighting technique that works for you and practice it over and over again you don't need to do all sorts of lighting you don't need to you know like you see a friend doing this type of lighting and you also want to do it pick a lighting technique that works for you that you love and then spend the time and just be consistent with it and practice that's what i've done over the years and i'm still doing i'm still like practicing and perfecting my my technique the second technique you need to master to take your photography to the next level is composition slash framing this is so so very 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 so very important to me <laughs> you need to understand composition and framing composition and framing makes or break a photo and composition and framing is like it's really basic it's a basic thing that like people really need to spend the time and understand very very well if you understand composition and framing gear wouldn't matter to you trust me because if you understand framing you would know how to take photos that's always pleasing to the eye regardless whether you're using your phone or, or, or a camera or whatever people don't spend the time perfecting their composition so the best they can always do is play out background you know they can take a model to a really nice location but because they don't really know how to compose to give pleasing images they always rely on blurring backgrounds or always shooting at wide aperture but what happens if you're using a lens that like it's 5.6 that doesn't really give you a shallow depth of field you know or what happens if you're shooting at 
at f9 f10 where everything is sharp nothing is bl is blurred out you need to know how and and where to position a model and not only focus on the model because when you're taking a photo people always focus on the subject they forget about their background they forget about what is in the background or if there's a distracting thing in the background they don't pay attention to that you need to understand that there's foreground mid ground and background and all you need to pay attention to each and every part of this in the photo and so if the model would be nice with beautiful outfits in the photo but maybe there's something distracting in the background or or um, there's a tree poking out her head that you know blurring our background wouldn't solve it you just need to compose the photo wall people are always also cutting off at the wrong places they are cutting off at people's joints like i see photos and like they cut off exactly on the joints on the feet and i always wonder like how like what don't you guys didn't you guys learn basic composition spend time and learn how to compose because you make the model will be beautiful beautiful location but if your composition is wrong like you, you it's, it's wrong composition if it's wrong it's wrong you don't frame and cut off people on their joints or when people are shooting uh, at the beach and you see the horizon slanted you can shoot a model with the horizon slanted and when i see it i go crazy <laughs> you know these are basic things like they are basic things you're supposed to know that's all you're supposed to learn before you even graduate into anything but because people don't take the time to learn they just buy a bunch of equipment and like f1.4 art lenses and all of that and so like they don't pay attention to all of that and as i said because i spent time perfecting these two things it's been able to differentiate me from other photographers and so people when people see my photo they know this is Ben Bond's photo you know people say learn the rules and break them and even like as a creative person you're supposed to be you know adventurous and be creative and so it's not always that you need to uh, get your framing right but you know there are some things that like it's not accepted you know no matter how I know you learn the rules and you break them but there are some things that like when you're breaking the rule you need to break it well and that's the thing to people say these things and it's like when you're breaking the rules break it well so that we know that this is intentional but not when like it's like this the photo is supposed to be straight and it's slanted a little bit when you know you wanted it to be straight or when you know that when it's straight it makes sense that way so please i'm begging each and every one of you take these two things really really serious like spend so much time perfecting your lighting and composition because that's basically photography lighting and composition whether your portrait photographer food photographer landscape it's all about lighting and composition let me know what you also think is important in photography thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one